Hello and welcome to another Skira Construct tutorial. This is my space shooter game and it didn't take long time at all to make. I will reproduce this game step by step. You start as usual with new DirectX game. Here I'm searching for some space images and we have uh, one suitable image 124 by 768 and I choose copy image double click new sprite I paste the image it will take a little time resize the canvas one zero twenty four and seven six eight resize. Okay, I have to paste the image again like this and then save yes. And I'm going to change the layout ten twenty four and 768 and then I only have to move it to the correct position and and I set this to background to back I create a new sprite and this will be the spawner I'm going to select the hotspot in the middle and the image point in the middle. Crop the image and save. Place it in the middle. I'm creating an asteroid sprite. I add some shading to it right something like this crop and save and make it smaller and name the sprites just ignore that my asteroid looks like dog poo it's an asteroid okay Let's create the rocket sprite and polygon and we save the sprite make it smaller put it somewhere and I'm going to create a plasma ball Crop the sprite, save, make it smaller, let's add mouse and keyboard, for the asteroid we select bullet with a speed of 5 which is very slow For the bullet, we select bullet behavior and the speed is 100. First, I want the spaceship to be able to shoot. So I open the event sheet editor and insert a new event that is mouse and keyboard. On key pressed space. New action, I want the spaceship to spawn 
another object and the object is delete. So if we run the game and we press space we have our plasma gun. The play area is a little bit too small so we select layout properties 10 24 7 6 8 and now we have a bigger play area I want to add some rotation to the spaceship mouse and keyboard keys down and left arrow finish and do the same with the right arrow left is counterclockwise and we select one degree right is clockwise one degree and we check for the new update so that looks nice I'm going to change the image point sorry so that the bullets spawn right from the top here it doesn't look like this is working it is still spawning from the center of the spaceship layer 1 image point 0 okay I think I fixed it now so what I did was give it a name and we can remove this one and add a name to it We select pipe and place the image point and we click save select event sheet editor and we write pipe so it looks ok and now we add the event for up and down the spaceship need a bullet behavior the speed of zero when the up arrow is pressed we take the speed and select the existing speed and it increase it by one and the same with the down arrow set speed, get existing speed decrease it by 1 and the update looks like this in the start of the layout I'm going to work with global variables and the name is space with the initial value of 1000 oh 1000 maybe better to move this up the spawner 
should create an asteroid every x milliseconds. Insert event system every x millisecond and here we type global pause and this is a variable okay I messed up a little bit so I will define it pause thousand okay and select pause thousand so the global pause will start with the value of thousand and I want the spawner to spawn another object and that is the asteroid and now it looks like this so what I want to do is set an angle that is a random value of 360 degrees and it looks like this now I want the difficulty level to get harder so from the global pause I subtract from value by 10 one thing if you want to remove the global variable you select project and then right click and remove I want every hundred millisecond increase the speed of the asteroid and I want the asteroid to search for the spaceship and I do that with rotate towards another object 2 degrees to the spaceship so now it looks like this you see the asteroids is searching for the spaceship when the spaceship collide with the asteroid I want the spaceship to be destroyed. Um, the bullet collides with the asteroid. I want the uh, asteroid to be destroyed and the bullet to be destroyed. I want to take care of the global variable. I don't want the milliseconds to get uh, less than zero. So therefore I do compare global variable. Select pause less than or equal to one.
and then I set pause to 1 so if I run the game we can try to survive the collisions and uh, every x milliseconds it will be more and more difficult because uh, spawner will spawn faster and faster thank you for watching and please subscribe